Hi, welcome to another tutorial. We are going through the rc.lua. And the rc.lua is a very important file. It's inside your awesome directory in your .config. And we are going to discuss here the shortcuts. So if you scroll down to more or less 200, 300, then you see that everything is needs to be programmed. It's an it's in the programming language Lua. And we already saw if we make one error, like an extra comma, the thing crashes. So it needs to be correct. But this is where Atom comes in. This is where the syntax comes in. You see all the colors right, spawn, 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 all the blue, all the function. It's quite readable. And if you are going to change something very significant, something like this, for instance, you see the colors change and then you say, whoa, I must have done something wrong. It already kicks in if you do this for instance up it's it's helping you all the time hey your code is not correct just wanted to say that this tutorial is about this if you want to change any of the shortcut keys they're all in here so super f1 super f1 is this okay it's vivaldi why why and how does he know it because here it says inkscape and hemp and so on but this is white and white means it's a variable you scroll all the way up and variables normally you declare them somewhere at the top and we have here indeed browser 1 vivaldi browser 2 firefox browser 3 chromium you can have browser 4 google chrome browser 5 etc okay the only thing you do here is change the name. If you say, no, 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 I want to switch this Firefox first. Well, that's it. And then we'll super F1 will be Firefox. So it's up to you to change uh, the keys if you'd like that, uh, or you can keep them. These are the keys that are coming from XFCE, from Openbox, i3. So if you're moving along with us in the learning path, you'll say, oh yeah, that's, that's neat, because it's the same as on the other desktop environments. But anyway, you have the freedom and the, the possibility to change. If you say, I'm going to change this into Alex Appearance, we've seen that in the previous tutorial, that that's a program to change the look of your system. Okay, done. Of course, it will not work now. Uh, F3, Super F3, remember that. First, Super Shift R to reload and now we can press super f3 and there you have it that's alex appearance you can set your theme icons mouse font and that's it it's that easy and it's all in here you just have to change it all right cheers